Hi everybody, it's Andrew Gaffney with Retail Touchpoints and I'm here at the Retail Innovation Conference and Expo and I'm joined by Peter Curran with Lucid Works. Peter, thanks for joining me. Hey, thanks Andrew. Specifically for retail, retail brands that are in growth mode, what are some of the common challenges, trends that you're seeing or, or priorities for them now around search? Yeah, I mean, one of the problems is just kind of getting the basics right. So uh, there's a lot of overlapping adjectives and nouns in, in, in English in retail. So a shirt dress and a dress shirt are two totally different things. and. Um, anytime you have uh, a, you know, a, a consumer expectation around search that's driven by things like Alexa and Siri, that's teaching them that they can just kind of talk to uh, something in order to search it, uh, then they bring those expectations into the retail environment. And so shirt dress and dress shirt is sort of the beginning of the story, right. but it gets a lot harder from there. So I think trying to meet consumer expectations for a more natural kind of conversation with the search platform right. is what they're struggling with. And when you think about, like a lot of the event here is focused on innovation and sort of what's coming next, you, you mentioned you know, voice search and yeah. some of the other things. What do you see as sort of the things retailers have to prepare for? Yeah, so the way that we've returned products out of a search index has been the same since like the 1950s, basically. And We've gotten better and better and better at it. We've added machine learning to make it smarter in this way or that way or cover up a gap. But there is a brand new way to retrieve information, retrieve products out of a search index called vector retrieval. And so for me, I wish I were 10 years younger so that I could uh, do this for, for you know, 20 more years. But it, it's extremely exciting. It means that we can solve um, uh, problems like when somebody's searching for a product that you don't carry, a brand that you don't carry, or they're searching for something, you know, you're having a supply chain issue, or they want to do a, like a project, something like that, where uh, they're buying a certain number of things, but they don't realize it. There are three other things that they need. Vector retrieval allows us to solve all those kinds of problems. So it's really exciting. Talk about some of the new things that Lucid Works. Yeah, so we've uh, we basically put put that kind of capability into our product, and we've built uh, an intelligent sort of router that can take a query that's relatively straightforward, like shirt or shoes or something simple, which a lot of people still search for that, and we can route that through the normal path. But if somebody is looking for something exotic or a brand we don't carry or something like that, we route it through a different path. So we have a product called Never Null. And never null is, is basically the idea that you make your search engine only do kind of the dumbest queries, and then you put everything else into never null, which is using this vector technology. Um, we also have a feature that's using that technology called fill to fold, where we automatically analyze categories and then uh, find categories that look thin and which need more product in them, and we find product in other categories that we think makes sense to build. So the vector technology, machine learning, deep learning is what uh, enables all of that. Thank you so much for sharing this. Yeah. All right, thanks everybody.